Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Grillin' with Dad. Today I'll be doing a Big Green Egg 101 video. It's probably one of the most common questions that I get asked on my Instagram page uh, is regarding the Big Green Egg. How to start it, how to maintain the temperature, how to clean it. So today I'm going to be going over all of that and more. Let's start by going over the few different sizes of Big Green Egg available. Uh, this one here is the Big Green Egg Mini Max. Uh, this one is very portable, comes with the uh, built-in handles, making it very easy to take with you. This one is the large. This is my daily driver, the one that I use the most. Uh, this is great for everyday cooking. Uh, if you're cooking for two to four people or even more, very expandable where you can fit a whole lot of food on the large. And this guy right here, this is the extra large. This is the biggest one that I have. Uh, this is great if you're really cooking for a big crowd. If you're making a couple briskets or a lot of rack of ribs, uh, this thing is great for that. I don't use it as often as the large because it's just too big for everyday use. Let's open this guy up. Inside is very simple, straightforward, right? You have your firebox on the bottom, that's where your lump charcoal goes. Uh, and then there's a couple other accessories you can put right on top and I'll go over those in just a minute. But while we're on the topic of charcoal, let's go over the type of fuel that you need for the Big Green Egg. Big Green Egg uses lump charcoal. So this is different from the regular briquettes that you might be used, used to. So this, uh, as you can see, these are actual wood pieces uh, that get fired up inside the grill. So this is much better to cook with. It's more natural because it's just wood. There's no additives. It burns a lot hotter than briquettes and a lot cleaner. Let's get this grill started. So I filled up the uh, firebox with the lump charcoal. Now as far as starting goes, there's a couple different methods and ways that you can go about doing that. Uh, Big Green Egg and a couple other companies make these uh, natural charcoal starters and these are you can see inside and these are just these uh, wax paper cubes and you can throw this guy right there in the charcoal uh, right there in the middle right use a lighter uh, or anything to get this guy lit and it'll burn slowly and start to ignite the charcoal that's around it so that's one way uh, it takes a little while using one of these you know you're probably looking at about 20 to 25 minutes to get a good fire going uh, in the egg uh, another way is using a propane torch. So this one here is from a place called JJ George and it just screws on to the blue propane tanks. You can open the gas valve up here, press the ignite button, and then just use the torch to start your charcoal. A little faster than the cubes and gives you more control is where you want the fire to start in the grill. And then there's one of these guys. So this is called the Luft lighter and this is an electric starter so you have to plug it in it gets really hot on the tip so this you just touch the charcoal like so press the button the end will start glowing red will start to ignite the charcoal and then there's a built-in fan that will blow air uh, into the charcoal spreading the fire so this is the quickest way uh, to start the grill because of where I live and because I cook year-round, I like using the Luft when it's cold outside because literally it takes about, you know, two to three minutes to get a good fire going in the grill. Uh, when it's nice out, I like to use the torch because, well, it's a torch, it's fun to use, uh, you know, it's always fun playing with fire. Uh, the starter cubes, I really don't use these guys anymore. Uh, you know, I've used these in the beginning, then after I got the torch and the Luft, I pretty much stopped using these altogether. Today I will use the Luft lighter to start the charcoal. So again, just put it right there in the middle, press the button. You can hear that fan blowing the air already. Now it just takes a couple seconds for the tip to get hot enough to uh, light the charcoal. And then we should get ignition. And you can see it's starting to spark up right there. So as soon as you see that uh, red and the, and the fire, just pull this back. And now the fan that's in here will start blowing air on that charcoal, helping it spread, spread that fire out. It's been about a minute or so, so you got a good little uh, fire going right in the middle. Uh, and this is, uh, this is pretty much ready to go right now. Unlike typical briquettes, you don't have to wait for all the charcoal to ash over. Uh, if you wait that long, like this thing's gonna be at a thousand degrees and way too hot for anything you wanna cook. 
when I start my uh, fires I usually start them right dead center in the middle so that way it'll start to spread out evenly uh, in the firebox if you're grilling something direct you can just put the grate right on top just like so um, wait for this to get as hot as you want it to be and you can just start cooking right away one of the great things about the Big Green Egg is its ability to go low and slow to do the slow barbecue cooks and if you want to do that you have to drop in this thing so this is called a plate setter and it goes right on top and this creates a barrier between the charcoal and your cooking grate which will go on top of that just like so so now if you want to make things like pulled pork brisket ribs you would use that plate setter to create that barrier so your food doesn't burn and you're going to be cooking basically just with the smoke from the charcoal and not the direct fire that's underneath the plate setter what i like to do once i have a nice fire going in the middle is to close the dome and then start adjusting my air vent so there's an air vent on top so you just slide this guy open and you can see it's opening and closing and there's another one on the bottom right down here right so you can slide uh, it open as well and these two vents are what's used to regulate the temperature in a big green egg the most common question that I get is how is the egg able to maintain a temperature for a long period of time, right? If you're cooking ribs or brisket, how can you set it to 250 or 225 and let it run for 8 or 10 hours? And adjusting those air vents is exactly how you do that. So you have the two air vents, right? The one on the bottom, one on the top. And the way that I like to look at it is the bottom one is used for the bigger adjustments. And the top one is used for kind of fine tuning the temperature. So if you want to cook at, let's say 250 degrees, you can set this guy open, you know, about an inch or so. And the top one, you know, barely cracked open, you can see. You can see the opening there just a little bit uh, and if you want to you know kind of bump it up a couple degrees i would use only the top vent you know very minimal slow adjustments to make those temperature changes uh, if you want to you know bump up the temperature 100 degrees i would go down here and open the bottom vent you know uh, a lot wider to allow more air and therefore increase the grill temperature now one thing to keep in mind, it is charcoal, right? So any adjustments are not gonna be, you know, instant like they would be on a gas grill at home. So if I open the vents, you know, or shut them down a little bit, you know, it'll take 10, 15 minutes for those changes to reflect uh, on the temperature gauge. Another common question that I get is about adding charcoal. So let's say you're doing a long cook, you know, you're making a brisket that's gonna take 14 hours to cook. You know, do you have to add charcoal during or throughout that cooking process? And the answer is no. If you fill it up to the top like I did here, and you have your plate setter in, your air vents adjusted, this should be enough, more than enough charcoal for that long cook. That's the beauty of using lump charcoals. This stuff lasts a very long time while it's cooking, and you're probably gonna have some left over. Speaking of leftover charcoal, the other great benefit of using lump charcoal is that it's reusable, right? So let's say we're done with our cook, I close the lid, shut the top vent, I close the bottom vent, that fire inside will extinguish and that charcoal is gonna remain as is. So when I come back the next day, right, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's a little ashy. Uh, you gotta clean this ash off, just gonna shake it around, but it's still reusable. So whatever is left, you can just slide up the next day or you know the next weekend and continue cooking with that same lump until all of it is completely burnt out. The next thing I'd like to cover is maintenance of the big green egg. How do you keep it clean, right? So it is a charcoal grill, so you are gonna get this soot that develops uh, on the inside of the grill as well as on the plate setter. So what is the best way of cleaning this stuff out? And the best way is to do a burnout. And what that means is we'll put our plate setter back in. So this guy's back in, it's kind of, you know, kind of dirty, doesn't look all that nice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the bottom vent all the way close the lid, we'll remove the top cap altogether. 
So this creates maximum airflow from the bottom to the top. The temperature that it's gonna get to is gonna burn off all that soot and the dirt that's inside the grill. So this is one of the things that will happen while you're doing the burnout is this thing will just get super smoky. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but that's all that grease and soot just burning off. So this guy's sitting at 600 degrees, it's still gonna get hotter. So we'll just let it keep burning until all this smoke kind of goes away and it's uh, super clean on the inside. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes or so. The egg's sitting at about 525, it's been burning off, so let's open it up and see how it looks. I'm gonna open it just a little bit, let some of the air in. See, check that out. Nice and clean. A lot of the uh, soot has been burnt off. So I'll take that plate setter out. To take the uh, hot plate setter out, you want to use some heat resistant gloves. Uh, something like an oven mitt might work too, or any kind of a heat resistant barbecue glove works as well. So this thing is pretty hot, but we're going to take it out. And I'll show you guys how it looks underneath, how clean that firebox is after that burnout. Plate setter is out and you can see like this thing is almost brand new inside. Most of the charcoal has burnt out at that high temperature and it's a nice clean ceramic white. Now because I had the plate setter in and I was burning that out, the dome is still a little bit cruddy. Uh, so if you want to clean out the dome as well, just leave the plate setter out so that flame and the heat will clean the underside of the dome for you as well. So that's it for my Big Green Egg 101 video. I'll do another one soon uh, with a couple bit more of advanced tips and tricks, some other accessories that I have. But following this along, the methods of starting the grill, uh, regulating the temperature, cleaning it out, should get you started on using the Big Green Egg, which is what I do pretty much every day at home. And if you like the video, like what I'm sharing, you know, please hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Feedback is always appreciated. And thanks again for tuning in.